The family of a young crash victim is calling for change. 15-year-old Lexi Hugan died after she was hit by a car in Jamestown on New Year's Eve. Randall Rollison has been charged with driving while ability impaired by drugs and leaving the scene of a motor vehicle accident. Tonight, he is free on bail. And that has Lexi's family calling for justice. Seven reporter, seven news reporter rather, Jocelyn Person is in Jamestown to tell you more. Family, friends, and residents of Jamestown are holding their signs for justice for 15-year-old Lexi Hugan, who was struck and killed by a truck driver who's now out on bail. I want people to stay passionate about my stepdaughter's death. I don't want them to forget what actually happened. She was hit two and a half blocks up that way. Um, in the crosswalk, she had the right of way. She wasn't on her phone. Um, and he hit her and dragged her two and a half block to where that memorial is over there. That memorial for Alexis Hugan now stands between West 6 and Washington Street. On Tuesday morning, friends, family and fellow community members returned to the site expressing anger and frustration after the suspected driver, 58 year old Randall Rolson, was released on bail. If he were black or Latino, I don't I don't think he would have made bail. I think they would have thrown the book at him. I reached out to the Chautauqua County District Attorney for comment. Jason Schmidt says, I understand why people are frustrated with the bail laws, but until they are changed, all of us, including our judges, are bound to follow them. Meantime, Lexi's family is left to mourn a life taken far too soon. I was like with Lexi's grandmother. Still am. So she was the world. I mean, I watched her grow up. I, I babysat her. We were so close. I get to say so many things unfinished. Um, she left the house and was gone in 10 minutes. And it's a family devastated and, and a community heartbroken. She touched everyone. Jocelyn Person, 7 News, Jamestown.